we're still married and we haven't divorced quite yet. We're living a very lavish lifestyle. You know, we're going on vacations, we have fancy cars, but you're pulling tons of equity out of the home in order to do that. You're pulling money out of the retirement account to fund that lifestyle. And I, through the divorce process, say, I still want that lifestyle. That was my marital lifestyle. So you need to provide that for me. Will the court make you continue to providing a lifestyle that maybe you couldn't afford during the marriage? So you can request that the court do anything you want, but <laughs> <laughs> whether or not they will do that is another question. So the court's gonna look at what the lifestyle was, but also how you got there. So if the funds aren't there after the divorce, if the assets aren't there after the divorce to continue living that lifestyle, the court's not gonna say, well, you're gonna get to continue to go on five lavish vacations every year, even though you can't afford it. They're going to assume that you knew in some fashion that this is what was going on, and that's how you got there. So certainly the court can't continue to maintain a certain lifestyle for you if you weren't even able to really afford that in the beginning.